guys what's up a very merry christmas to all of you it is the festive season i know so many of you at home what were mefunga shule wengine wanna graduate some of them are concluding school can you imagine so it's about that time we delve into one other freestyle friday interview join Wachachi was here letting you have a bit of some of the goodness that we are sharing here in the spirit of giving make sure you do support those artists those people that are trying to even come out and use their skill to get some money to pay some school fees you know the school fees season is almost coming up so it's good for you guys to support these people if you see them on the street and make sure that you give 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 all right so parallel like twitter you can find us at y254 channel the hashtag is why in the morning hashtag why kilisha and on youtube you can find us at y254 channel just in case you miss any of the valuable insight here and on instagram we're at y254 underscore channel and in case you do want to participate in the conversation do not hesitate even if you want to tell our deputy president uh congratulations make sure you do so my name is hilda wadidi and i'm joined in studio by a very lovely lady who not only does doubles up as a wake up artist she is an ambassador of christ shara music is here in studio and i will allow her to say good morning to you so that you can hear her beautiful voice ama yeah hi guys good morning mm -hmm. my name is shara um shara music i'm a gospel artist mm -hmm. And yeah, it's lovely to be on the show. Thank you very much. Yes, and now Shara is here for the first time on Y254 to debut her song, Umeni Penda. Yes, can we talk about what inspired this particular track? Um, I wanted to get a bit real with mm -hmm. people because the song is about when people leave you in life mm -hmm. for whatever reason. Yeah. Uh, be it a relationship, be it a partnership, anything uh -huh. like that. Uh -huh. I just felt like I, I needed to speak about that because sometimes people don't speak about these things. True that. So the we song, suffer in silence. You mm. know, so the song is just giving people hope mm -hmm. that whatever situation you may be in and you mm -hmm. find yourself abandoned, mm -hmm. left, mm -hmm. you should not give up because God has not given up on you. Mm -hmm. God has not run out of people that mm -hmm. can be with you and support you mm -hmm. and that he is forever your hope. So the message of the song is, don't give up. Like there's so much love in Jesus. There's so much love in the world. Mm -hmm. And um, don't let one situation or two or three bad situations just make you really have a bad outlook of life. So it's about uh, how you view life and how not to give up because there's a God in heaven. Yes, it is. Interesting. It is. Where did you develop such strong faith from? Like where did you decide even you wanted to be a gospel artist? Um, well, I've been a... Christian for many many years. Mm -hmm. I got born again when I was very young. Mm -hmm. And um, how old is very young? <laughs> I was seven years old. Class one. You met Christ in class one. Honestly, Thank you. Uh -huh. I did, and um, obviously over the journey, I went through a phase where I backslid. Actually, I remember oh. when I mm -hmm. went to uni, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But I came back to Christ, mm -hmm. and I decided to use the gift God gave me to sing for Him. I wasn't going to do it any other way. So, what is your definition of backslide? <laughs> All right, so mm -hmm. when I went to uni for the first year, you know when you go to uni, there's so much um, peer pressure to do oh, things. Oh, yes, yes. There's all this, oh, you can go here for drinks, you can do this. So I just did, you know, I went for, I used to go for drinking. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really going to church, actually. Mm -hmm. I was I was just, dis I was disconnected from God. Mm -hmm. I still had God in my heart, mm -hmm. but I was completely disconnected. Mm -hmm. So I did that for one semester, mm -hmm. which is, say, from September till December thereabouts. Mm -hmm. So I do remember that New Year's, we went out, mm -hmm. you know, as a group of friends and we got really drunk. Mm -hmm. And you know, when I got back, I wasn't even myself. Mm -hmm. And I was like, God, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of this life I'm living because it does not give me the same uh, fullness. It mm -hmm. does not give me the same warmth, the same fulfillment that I got when I was serving you. Mm -hmm. I just felt really empty mm -hmm. in as much as I was out there socializing, you know, to my level best, mm -hmm. drinking, doing whatever I wanted, wearing mm -hmm. whatever I wanted. Mm -hmm. It was not satisfying me at all. Mm -hmm. So I came back to church and I went to church and I said, Lord, I'm, I want to bring you back into my life. Mm -hmm. And it was a journey from there. I can't say I stopped clubbing. I didn't stop clubbing overnight mm -hmm. um, and I know people do club and you know me I, I don't really judge anybody because people do what they do they know where they stand with God yes but personally I, I don't really do that anymore mm -hmm. but it was a journey for me uh -huh. and even the, the drinking was a journey for me to stop you know it didn't just happen overnight yes but over the course of say one year I just realized oh I don't even go clubbing anymore I don't really even like drinking anymore mm -hmm. and then I got more into God more into God so it was just a journey 
Interesting. So you're actually speaking from somebody who's been through that life. Oh yeah, hundred percent. It's not from, like, from point <laughs> looking outside the box. So Shara Music has actually been through that life. She's I been have. out here doing what people, you know, what we are doing this yeah, season. You know what we are up to. <laughs> so make sure when you clock into the new year, you remember that there's a God somewhere in heaven. All right. Amen. Anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, I would like you to change your mic just a little bit so that the fans can hear you okay. again. So sure. I just like you to tell them your social media handle so that uh, just in case they missed it, they can talk to you. Okay. Yeah. So guys. Uh, my all my social media handles are Shera Music, so it's S H E R A space M U Z I K, and that's all across Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all of them are like that. Yes, and this is the Umeni Penda hit maker, but it's about time we get real. Cindy, see you guys, let's get real. Let's let's talk, let's talk. See, now she's a young person in the gospel industry, and we've had a lot of debate when it comes to gospel artists here in Kenya. Where do we draw the line in, in, in our videos, in how we do our music, that such that we know gospel is this, this is this is secular. So um, there's one particular character who's really been in the limelight and he's received a lot of terror. Let me call it terror. Terror, terror threats from fans and that's Willie Paul and they say that his music has kind of gone towards the secular direction yet he started on gospel and he's not giving us a good example and what have you so as an upcoming artist who wants your music to be hip to be young to be relatable to to the young people how do you feel about this whole scandal um the thing about Willie Paul is I this sounds very weird what I say mm -hmm. but I feel like yes, he's a because he's a bit of a rebel mm -hmm. and he likes to do whatever he wants mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's possible that we may also have let him down mm -hmm. as a gospel industry. Oh, uh -huh. because you know when a child or I'm not saying he's a child, but when somebody starts going, the Bible says when you see somebody doing something, you, yes. should, you should correct. Yes, and you should do it with love, mm -hmm. not do it with making them feel so condemned and mm -hmm. making them feel like you know, I really, really messed up. Because mm -hmm. the more you, you do that to somebody, mm -hmm. the more you push them away. Mm -hmm. And the more you make them see God as this God who just judges people. So that, strict. Yes, yeah. that, 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 that doesn't give people a second chance. Mm -hmm. And you completely omit the message of grace, mm -hmm. which is what God is all about. So I do feel maybe at some point we did let him down at some point. Mm -hmm. But I also feel that, you know, he's just a bit of, re of a rebel. And, you know, he's very gifted, really. Well, very, very gifted. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And um, maybe he just wanted to do his own thing. Mm -hmm. and he might find his way back at some point true so we must always um also just pray for him mm -hmm. you know if, if, if we are being really genuine yes let's let's pray for him but i don't think it's all good to to be so, be so harsh and condemn somebody because at the end of the day you don't know where somebody's heart is with god that's true yes and i always say people will be so surprised that the people they'll find in heaven <laughs> Yeah. All those people they think they thought went to hell will be surprised. You'll meet them in heaven. But mm. anyway, anyway, that's mm. besides the point. Uh, now that we've talked about the industry, the gospel industry, mm. how did you feel like the industry received you? How did the producers treat you? Um, how did the directors, how did you go about finding directors? As a young lady who just debuted into the gospel music industry, now as a recording artist, yeah. how did the industry receive you? Are you getting shows? Is it easy? Are you looking to join any record label? Have have you tried to join any record label before? Let us know. Um, the reception wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. I, it was. I expected it because I didn't think I was just gonna release a song and be a one night hit wonder kind mm -hmm, of thing. Mm -hmm. I think I was a bit realistic about this. I realized it's a journey. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody starts somewhere. Your first song might get to this point. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Your second song, you know, you'll keep growing and growing and growing. So I was okay with that. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think I really do not have complaints. Mm -hmm. The only thing is that, um, so, yeah, as a young girl, mm -hmm. single girl, mm -hmm. you know, you are very vulnerable. Yes. Because anybody and everybody just might want to hit on you. Yes. Or maybe do you a favor, favor because of of uh, maybe what they can get. They, yes. They, there is that aspect of it. Yeah. And it's, it is very frustrating, especially... Mm -hmm. Because you're a gospel artist and you're trying to be an ambassador of Christ. And you're yeah, trying you're to, trying to be moral. <laughs> yes. You're, you're, you're trying to be mm -hmm. the person that is portraying purity, mm -hmm. uprightness. Yes. But then the very people that are meant to be helping you are mm -hmm. the ones that are even trying to compromise you. Mm -hmm. I cannot say it happened a lot, to be mm -hmm. honest. So mm -hmm. let me not say it's a thing out there. Mm -hmm. But it did happen to me mm -hmm. to a point where I was like, oh my God, you know, am I, I going to do this? Because 
it's a complete paradox to release a gospel song and then maybe you're sleeping with somebody. Yes. It's just completely bizarre. Yeah. If, and if, if you feel like you, you're at that place as an artist, mm -hmm. you really need to just drop the whole thing. Okay. Because I was, whatever God gives us to serve him with mm -hmm. will never lead us into a path of, of distraction. Yes. So if, if that path is leading you to distraction, it's not God. Yeah. And you must wait till a time when you're stronger mm -hmm. to be able to, to, to follow that path without getting all mangled up in all that kind of thing. So what I'm getting from you is God will never ask you to compromise. Even no. if you're trying at to you preach, yet, you know. Saying, you mm. have to put, put this song out there because it's it's making people get saved. Mm, mm. But at what cost? Yeah. At the cost of your own morality? Mm. At the cost of your own soul? Mm -hmm. No. And that's a very powerful word going into the new year and all the ladies out there that also want to delve into the industry. God will mm. never ask you to compromise. So, mm. if you like she said, if you see it's going towards the path of destruction, move away. Anyway, let's talk about the people you've worked with. Now, the people who have supported you, the people who have made you get to this particular point, your directors, your producers, let us know about these individuals. And why did you decide these are the individuals I want to work with? This WB. Yes. yes let's, let's talk a little bit. Mm. Okay, so like WB, um, I decided to work with him because I saw a few of his videos mm -hmm. um, and they were just very fresh, you know, mm -hmm. loads of colors, mm -hmm. smoke, mm -hmm. um, dancing. Mm -hmm. It was just very energetic fun colors that which is what i like mm -hmm. if you i have done a song and it's on youtube it's called niko hapa mm -hmm. and that song is a typical kenyan thing that mm -hmm. i did where mm -hmm. i had the long dress and it was so <laughs> i like that you said typical kenyan thing no it was it was as a gospel artist uh -huh. you know there's this thing and <laughs> all of us that enter the industry uh -huh. you know we all want to look like masi masika yeah in muema and you want to you dress know? with those vitengas yes. And, uh. Yes, we, we, all, we uh -huh. all want to just look a certain way, like mm -hmm. Sidris Arake, like who, mm -hmm. to just be accepted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then what I realized is everybody has people they're called to. Mm -hmm. So Sarah K, Masi Masika, the reason they're, they're above and they're doing really well is because they are, they're following what God and who God called them to. Yes. Personally, I, I am very youthful, mm -hmm. urban, I love fashion, I love makeup, mm -hmm. I love accessorizing. Mm -hmm. I'm the girl on YouTube watching fashion holes make her do what. Mm -hmm. So it was just such a contradiction to then do these things, which mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. Then I just said, you know, and also God told me, you have to be yourself mm -hmm. to be who you, I called you to leave a mark on this earth. Yes. You have to be yourself. Yeah. Because be God, who I called you to be. Exactly. Not to be anyone else. Yes, because yes. God has given you, has equipped you to be you. Mm -hmm. He has not equipped you to copy somebody else. True that. You know, so mm -hmm. my, my, my new song, I... I what that what he was doing wb resonated with what i wanted mm -hmm. and you know he's a very nice guy very easy very humble easy to work with mm -hmm. and and he's also reasonable he's not like super super expensive so that's why i worked with him oh. another person i work with is yo alex he's mm -hmm. a producer yo alex yes <laughs> sounds like yo yeah, alex you know, <laughs> like, like sometimes they go like yo you're good <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah i worked with you alex and one reason i like you alex is because he's so efficient mm -hmm. um you give him a track and for me anyway mm -hmm. I, he's just very efficient mm -hmm. and he's very good this song that i did we recorded in like maybe four hours mm -hmm. the whole song mm -hmm. and then i came back later to change maybe just one line or something and that's because he records and then he edits i don't even know how he does it before you know it you just have a song uh -huh. so I, I do like you alex so those are the two main people i've worked with a guy called trey jules who's mm -hmm. also a video guy mm -hmm. he's he's also really good very artistic mm -hmm. um saint p i'm on a project with oh, him. Saint P. Uh -huh. Yeah, and uh, Saint P is uh, just such a cool guy. Mm -hmm. So patient. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> Saint Patient. <laughs> no, he's actually really patient. You know, because uh -huh. sometimes you you can do a whole thing. Yes. And then later you're like, mm, I don't even like this. You'll be like, okay, scrap that. Let's do it again. Other people, other people oh. will be like, no, you're just gonna have to make this make this work because I'm not gonna do this again. Mm. So I I like that about him that he's very very patient, very accommodating. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Interesting. Okay, yo, Alex, yo. Let me just say yo to you, okay? All right? Because your name is yo, Alex. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so let's talk about how the fans received you now. Now, aside mm. from the industry, mm. how did the fans receive you? Your, your video garnered almost 9,000 views. Mm. You're doing well. Mm. And we'd like to know, um, when you go out there, when you step in the, into the streets, when you're in front of the church or in front of the congregation, how yeah. do the fans receive you? Okay, what do so they say about you? Okay, so at the moment, the only fans I've identified with that are... are um, online mm -hmm. i don't even reach that stage where i go somewhere and somebody recognizes me i know you're gonna get there you'll you be know. shocked Nine thousand is a lot of people by the grace of god you yes. know but um but the ones i've i've i know I, I i like them i don't have any beef with them mm -hmm. like they're good 
they're supportive and what I I, I know mm. and um, they, some people always tell me in the industry and this is a message to ladies generally oh, uh-huh. as ladies generally we, we, we hide back we call back we are a bit shy we, we may be very gifted but you're like yeah I've got this song and the guys are not like that mm. the guys usually they're like this is my song yo play it kind of thing so the fans are okay I think it's just us as, as girls to sort of give them more and just interact with them and know that that, that they're actually wanting good things like good music from us mm-hmm. they're open to good music well interesting because i think t- uh, girls tend to call up because they don't want to be labeled you know you, you're pushy or bossy who slick queen who nini i'm i'm very familiar with that feeling ah, so gee. i know like most girls they kind of hide back ah. because they don't want to look like they're you know but guys nobody categorizes them so that's a very interesting point yeah. i never saw it that way but you're right yeah nobody categorizes ah. them you go looking the way you're looking and someone be like ah yeah partner Mm-mm-mm. that one is coming to boast for us over here you know so ah. kuna venye people out there you need to be a bit considerate just because we dress ah. nice does not mean we are bad people am i yeah, it's true. Yeah. Or, or that we're not approachable. Exactly. Or, yeah, you're yes. right. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, so let's go back to the industry talk. If you could change something about the industry, me, I've told you what I would change if I could be in the industry. Just mm-hmm. stop labeling girls just because they dress like this and that. Yes, but yes. what would you change about the industry if you could change something? I would make it more structured mm-hmm. because in Kenya, it's you really have to push and you you don't really know where to start mm-hmm. like if somebody is just there very gifted they can sing yeah and they get songs mm-hmm. and they want to sing mm-hmm. uh, it's the, you, you can't open up a directory like there you can google search at a nearest supermarket nearest <laughs> restaurant you know uh-huh. nearest what mm-hmm. now how do you start at a google searching uh, desk producer for this kind of music true that best vid- best vi- videographer ah. even shows mm-hmm. you know it's it's you have to just start getting to know people then they advise you then you try this and you're definitely going to get disappointed at some point we all have so, so you would try to reduce the disappointment yes you know <laughs> so for me i feel uh-huh. it's a bit hit and miss mm-hmm. and the one thing which i must say i must i cannot forget to say is that for me the grace of god mm-hmm. has just been so key in this mm-hmm. journey mm-hmm. the grace the mercy the favor yani just god mm-hmm. god they because there's some places i just get called to go on interview or even how people take me or just some things i experience mm-hmm. that are just beyond me because i'm like I don't even know if I deserve this. Gosh. You know, like last week I was on Bambika on Citizen. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I felt so honored and humbled because so many major artists have released songs in this yes, season. Yes, yes. I mean, I think everybody who is everybody has released a song. Yeah. Everybody who is everybody, everybody no, who is seriously, somebody. Seriously. <laughs> like, if you want to be called a gospel mm-hmm. artist, I mm-hmm. think everybody tried to release a song before Christmas. Yes. And, as, oh, so, and obviously everybody's looking for a show, but me... Yeah, and it's just small me that is not even whatever. God just put me in there. So for me, that's a very key part. And I have to say that it's not just about working hard. Mm-hmm. It's also about uh, seeking God to, to be the one that leads you and, and guides you in this journey. Basically letting go of the need to control and just let yes. God create the path for you. Mm. Interesting. So let's talk about inspirations and people you'd like to work with in mm. future. Mm. Who would you say that in the industry that you look up to or could have influenced a bit of your music, they could be watching you right now. So yeah, let's okay, hear it. Okay, so it always changes. Mm-hmm. It always changes. It's okay. So I think the person I'll say for this week, because yes. it keeps changing. Okay. Uh, maybe Alice Kimanzi. Ooh, uh-huh. I like her worshipy, because I'm a very worshipy person as well. Mm-hmm. There's a part of me that's like that. Mm-hmm. And I, to be honest, I don't even know her. I've never met her. Mm-hmm. But I like her music. And yeah, probably I could. I would. Interesting. So now that it's Christmas season, mm-hmm. Alice Kimanzi, I hope you've heard. Girl, girl child has extended a hand so we can shake hands how many yes. all right all right now it's christmas season we'd mm-hmm. like to know what are you up to for this particular season and what do you plan to do come 2019 can we expect more music from you is there anything in the kitchen cooking that we can expect to hit us on Twitter, the very first day of 2019 just let us know what we can expect from you any shows any upcoming mm-hmm. shows yes I think Christmas, I'm just going to go with the flow mm-hmm. and, um, you know, just have a nice mm-hmm. Christmas, spend time with friends, mm-hmm. family. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's just what I'm going to do. Church, you mm-hmm. know, yeah, fellowship, celebrating Christ. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to do for Christmas. So New Year's, you're going to be in Kesha? Uh, maybe. Ah, oh, maybe. I was but, just asking, just in case. But, <laughs> but, but <laughs> I, I, well, well, for me, I'm going to be honest, I, I do like... Um, 
crossing over in, in God. Okay. Yeah, that moment is crucial. Just just to say, God, please, this year, just go before me. I just like to dedicate that year to God. Okay, great, great. Yeah. All right, it's about time we conclude this segment. Yes. I'd like you to wish the fans a Merry Christmas and tell them your social media handles one more time and then we can exit. Okay, guys. So, guys, um, I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I hope you have fun with your friends, with your loved ones. Um, I love you so much. And um, once again, my name is Shera Music. I'm a gospel artist, kind of new. My social media handles are Shera music z as a music with z i k yeah or oh, that's across the board all right shara for you you've not said merry christmas gosh oh, oh haven't <laughs> i okay guys i'm sorry <laughs> merry christmas like i wish you a super merry lovely amazing merry christmas love you Okay, Shara, Jumir Mekupenda and Mekupenda up on Wine the Morning family. Make sure you request her song, Many Penda. It's going to be coming through shortly. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming, Shara Music. Amani Aje. Yes, don't touch that dial, Jay Muchacha is coming up next. Do the next interview with some more of Freestyle Friday.